you gotta be able to weather the storm because the storm is coming. This is Brian Kane with the Mental Performance Daily Podcast, and today we're continuing with Matt Carpenter of the San Diego Padres, a three-time Major League Baseball All-Star. He's talking about the mental performance skills that have helped him to maximize his potential. Now, if you're interested in listening to this entire interview at once with Matt Carpenter in the show notes, you'll see a link to join a free group coaching that I'm doing, sponsored by and brought to you by my friends at Fundraising University. It's a group coaching where we meet every other week for an hour and every week for 25 minutes. It's all recorded. You don't have to attend live. You can check out the recordings. It's all free brought to you by my friends at fundraising university. Check out the link below. It's a no brainer for anybody who's a coach and a high performer. Now today, Carp's going to tell the story about how in 2018, he was statistically the worst player in baseball position player after the first two months of the season. And by the end of the year, he was receiving MVP votes. He talked about how do you stay consistent amongst the storm? And he discusses the importance of process and trusting what it is that you do because you know and can describe what it is that you do. So the storm's coming for you. It's coming for me. It's coming for all of us. That's part of the human condition. That's part of life. But when the storm comes, are you going to have a process that you can go to to keep you strong in the storm? It's like dropping an anchor. If you're a cruise ship out in the middle of the ocean and the storm's coming and you drop that anchor, that's going to keep you right there where you want to be. Well, our anchor is our process. And in order for us to be able to withstand the storm, we've got to have a process that we trust. And that process has to be detailed so that we can know exactly what to do when we need to do it. Strict not rigid. There's a difference. I have a process that I follow. And if I have to adapt and adjust, I will. Let's listen to Matt Carpenter talk about the importance of having a process, weathering the storm, and how he went from statistically the worst in baseball to MVP votes in 2018. You talk about creating that freedom and kind of like accepting that whatever happens, happens, but then you make it and then you're there and then you're on top. Does that mentality change when you get there and, does, and now there becomes an expectation that you're going to have, you know, a certain season or you're an expectation that you're going to do X for a city or organization. How does that change with success? That's a great question. And it certainly does. Um, you know, I, I, I've gone through so many different phases of kind of my mentality as a professional baseball player. Uh, and, you know, I'm, we're, we'll obviously touch on most of them, but, you know, as I mentioned, I kind of went from the kid who, you know, had a chip on his shoulder and, you know, wasn't supposed to be here 13th rounder, fifth year senior, and kind of, you know, I don't want to say, I'm trying to think of what the best way to put it is not, not lucky, but just kind of grinder who just find, found his way to the major leagues. And, you know, it's kind of a cool story and um, you know, we'll see kind of where this thing goes. Well, then when that kind of, model becomes now okay great now you're the you're matt carpenter the the all-star who we're going to invest in um from an organization standpoint from a contract standpoint and now you know we expect you to be you know this certain player on this uh team that's you know going to compete for a world series every year that was a shift uh mental uh you you know had to go to a, a different you know place where you you know went from kind of the young player who's just grinding every day to now the expectation of, you know, being the, you know, one of the cornerstones of a franchise, there was, there was a lot of expectation, um, you know, through that. And there were some tough times and uh, you know, I can, I can think of one in particular in 2018 uh, I started off um, after I think May 26th, uh, two months, almost two full months in the season, I was the worst uh offensive player, worst position player in, in the, uh, entire major leagues, uh, statistically from an OPS standpoint, I think I was like 586 or something like that, which would have graded out as the worst player, um, in major league baseball, uh, at that time. And, uh, you know, just really, uh, you know, kind of grinding and, and, and going through it, but, I, and I've I've been fortunate enough to have this. If you happen to me a few times in my career, and I, and I've I've 
Brian and I have talked about it. Some of the best, some of the worst things that have happened to me and some of the toughest moments of my career have always led to some of the greatest things. Mm. And I think part of that is just the mindset that I've been able to have, um, you know, all the way back starting in college where, you know, you struggle for a few years and then, you know, turn your life around, start playing better, you know, get to minor leagues, uh, you know, kind of get off to a great start, get to the big leagues, struggle for a little bit, get it going back. So in 2018, I'm going through this tough stretch. And for a lot of guys that I've played with, for a lot of guys that I've been teammates of, and for a lot of people and anybody that can go through, you know, whether you're an athlete or not, going through struggling like that at that magnitude for that long um, can be really hard. But I had already struggled before. So I was able to kind of withstand that and not lose confidence and not, um, you know, panic and just stick to my process. And it led to maybe my best season of my entire career, 2018. I think I, you know, finished, you know, with some MVP votes, um, and, you know, had a complete turnaround. And I think, you know, two out of the last three months uh, of that year, uh, you know, I, I was the player of the month and, and a few of those and, you know, just being able to, re I guess, weather that storm and the confidence in knowing that what I was doing would, would, would continue to play out if I just stuck with my process and not, um, you know, lose sight of where this thing was headed. I was able to, 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 you know, weather that storm. And, and that was a big, uh, a big uh, highlight of, you know, my career for me. Thanks for checking out Mental Performance Daily with Brian Kane, an Ironclad original. If you like the show, be sure to leave us a rating, review, and comments. We'll see you tomorrow. Looking for details and information about our next Mental Performance Mastery Coaches Certification course? Just head over to briankane.com slash certification to get on our insiders list so that you can be in the know and find out when we go open so that you can join some of the top income generating and influence and impact having coaches in the country with our MPM Coaches Certification.